Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, today is kind of going to be like a product showdown. If you didn't know, there is a new foundation on the market and this is the channel that you come to if you want to see a foundation review because it's very likely that I've already tried the foundation. So if you guys want to know the foundation is and see how it wears compared to another foundation, then let's go. So this is the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation. If it sounds familiar, that's because there already is the ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. Don't don't pay attention to the smudges all over. That's how you know a product has been used though, okay? Um, so I feel like a week ago, I saw a post um, saying that this is launching soon, but there's going to be a preview at Ulta, so I went ahead and ordered it from Ulta. Um, so today I'm gonna do a you know side-by-side -side comparison because I actually really like this as a tinted moisturizer if you guys are looking for one. Um, so I wanna see like what the difference is with the foundations. So I just said, if you guys wanna see that, let's go. So let me just get into the actual specs of each foundation. So the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer retails for $14 for 1.45 ounces. This comes in 21 shades. I have it in the shade Deep Dark 22N. It says the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer is a hydrating oil-free tinted moisturizer with lightweight coverage that evens skin tone and leaves your skin looking fresh and healthy. Formulated with hyaluronic acid and coconut water to support skin hydration without adding oil. This tinted moisturizer works for all skin types and makeup styles. Just customize your routine to create your own look. And then for the foundation, this retails for $16 for one ounce. Um, on Ulta, because this is a preview, there are 29 shades, but um, I feel like the full range is 45 shades. I feel like I saw the number 40 floating around somewhere on online. Um, but yeah, ColourPop's Instagram says, you know, for right now it's a preview at Ulta and there are 29 shades. But um, when this actually launches, I think it launches July 14th or something like that. When it launches on ColourPop's website, all of the shades will be available there. So I took a gamble uh, seeing if any of the shades on Ulta's website would be my shade. So I got the shade Deep Dark 205N. Y'all know I just go to the darkest, like neutral shade that they have. But I think the darkest, darkest shade on Ulta's website is also a neutral shade, so I might have gone like one up. But this says the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation is a hydrating foundation that delivers a medium buildable coverage with a natural skin finish infused with coconut water and hyaluronic acid for hydrated, luminous skin. The flexible formula provides undetectable medium to full coverage that lasts all day. This vegan foundation is dermatologist tested and oil free, alcohol free, and fragrance free. Okay. Okay, so let's start with the tinted moisturizer side. Um, I've, if you guys have seen the other videos I've done on ColourPop foundations, um, all of them that I've tried except for the tinted moisturizer break me out. So I don't know if the tinted moisturizer didn't break me out because it's tinted moisturizer and I should worry about this one. But if I come back and break out just on this side of my face, well, but um, yeah, it's, it's kind of orange in this. Is it open already? It's not orange when it comes out. Let's 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 see. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. So this is just the foundations on my face, tinted moisturizer foundations. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face. So that is it for my face. It is 12.52. I used the bronzer shade from the Tammy Face Palette and I might just stick to using the contour shade because it's giving a little red to my face. But that is it for my face. I'm gonna go check in midday and then I'll see you guys back here later tonight. Tell you my thoughts on the foundation versus the tinted moisturizer. So it is a 4.28. This is my face is looking like foundation side. Um, my tinted moisturizer side of film on Instagram, you already heard about my wig, the uh, meeting that I had earlier, but I feel like if I didn't mention it, you really couldn't tell that I have two different um, base products on right now. Maybe a little bit just because um, there's more coverage on the foundation side because this is a tinted moisturizer, so it's really relying on like my skin on this side, but I feel like, you know, quick glances like you really couldn't tell. I'm gonna save my, my final thoughts 
for the, the, the last part of the video, but I feel like y'all already know where it's going, but I'll see you soon. So it is 8-11 and this is what my face looking like. Okay, you know, it's this, this little section here of my T-zone is acting up and I guess a little part of my forehead for the most part you know that's i feel like we knew from the check-in which side of my face i was going to go with but i gotta i gotta give it to that foundation honestly like i said during the check-in i for, for a majority of the day i feel like you could not really tell that i was wearing two different products on my face you can get the same type of coverage with each but just like throw on a little dash a little dash of salt and insult insert the um salt meme right here just a little dash more with the foundation of course because it's supposed to have more coverage than the tinted moisturizer the only thing is like you won't you won't get the foundation to the point of coverage of the tinted moisturizer but you can kind of get the tinted moisturizer to the point of the foundation right out of the bottle if that makes sense like what i'm saying is the tinted moisturizer is buildable buildable to what you would consider like a sheer coverage of a foundation type of buildable but the foundation you can get to a full coverage type of finish on your face and it still won't look cakey on you because it still has that natural finish to it i would say that this is a a pretty you know natural finish foundation not extra dewy not extra matte like really just a natural finish foundation um i love how it looks on the skin i feel like it's one of those foundations that give you that like skin type of uh look to your face um can't feel either one on the face i was not playing in the check-in when i said honestly for a majority of the day you really couldn't tell that i was wearing two different um base products on my face they they felt the same they pretty much look the same. I don't, I don't do the most with foundation anyway, so pretty much look the same. Um, I, I think the biggest difference here is just the wear hours later. Granted, um, when I tested out the tinted moisturizer for the first time, that was in the winter. I would say that it's a, it's a winter, um, winter, uh, fall, like just a natural weather type of thing, extreme type of heat. Which is funny because that's usually when people like to wear tinted moisturizers because they want to wear a little bit less product. But as you can see here, um, you know, especially if you have oily skin, she might not be the one that you want to break out if you need like extra, extra, extra long, oil-free, shine-free type of wear. I feel like the foundation did better with that. So I feel like that's really the only main difference I would point out about these two. I like them both. Again, the tinted moisturizer is probably one I would just wear to, you know, go, well, nowadays, the only time I go out is to run a quick errand and um, the fun, the foundations, which you would break out for, you know, like, those, like you're going somewhere, you're trying to be seen, those type of things. Like that's really the only difference between the two. But other than that, both lightweight, um, it's like a $2 price difference. I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw it. the foundation is co coming in 42 shades. I'm not sure how that'll work out, but there'll be 42 shades on the website. What else? Um, I had to blot that little section because the glare on the screen was bothering me. But um, so yeah, both lightweight, both a natural finish, both, mm, well, obviously the tinted moisturizer is a um, pretty sheer coverage, but buildable, where the foundation out of the bottle is a, a light coverage but buildable as well um light medium light medium coverage um but the the foundation i would say is the one that's a little bit more suitable for oily, or long lasting for oily skin in hot weather so yeah i would recommend them both but i'm gonna have to go with the foundation on this one she made she made just a few more points than the tinted moisturizer in this product showdown so that is it for this video i hope seeing me test out these products against each other has helped if you were thinking of picking one up over the other or both who knows i'm here i'm here for you either way okay i hope seeing me test it out it's helped for those of you who want to pick it up make sure to what's my outro make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching i will see you in the next one bye